Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general love read. Okay, I'm not going to set an intention for a specific week this week. I don't know why I'm being really guided that um, we're still moving through a like ton of energy through the end of this week. So I'm not really sure um, about sending this forward because I feel like um, a lot of these storylines are going to change next week. I feel like a lot of people are releasing things. So we'll go ahead and, um, you know, look at this, see how it goes. Um, it may resonate for you this week. You may look at it next week and you may be like, what was that? Okay. So just take what, what you take from it this week. All right. So as always, I'm going to pull for the collective. Then I'll pull out the intention, lay out the foundation, and then we'll move into the clarification. Okay. All right. So what is going on here for Aquarius? All right. Because I honestly don't know about you guys, but wow, am I feeling it today. Okay. My friend described it as crunchy. And I'm like, yeah, I can feel some of that crunchiness. Okay. So, Aquarius. And this is the first reading with the charged cards here. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Interesting. Okay, for the collective, all right, you get Cosmos and Accelerate. Okay, so the Cosmos really is about this new beginning and opening up to the energy of what you've been creating, what you deserve, knowing your own worth, okay? And Accelerate is this energy really about um, learning to just slow down, go with the flow, um, allow the, the speed to happen when it's meant to happen rather than actually um, trying to create this acceleration of something that isn't there or isn't ready yet. All right. Overall energy. You get, okay, nine of wands in reverse. So I do feel like this is about you letting down your guard and letting go of things. Okay. In the past, we have the King of Swords. So there really is this energy of, um, in the past, feeling like you were kind of in battle and that you were, you had done the battle, you had won, and yet the victory didn't taste very sweet because there was this sort of being alone, okay, sort of an energy. Current energy, Ten of Pentacles. You could be very focused on um, family, very focused on your um, trying to get yourself to this Ace of Pentacles because they're really showing me this center. So the center of the heart, okay, being your stability, your foundation, your movement forward. And the future energy, okay, we've got Five of Swords and Ten of Swords. So it's kind of like a leap, right? Like your understanding that you have to go from this broken point within yourself to letting go of this pain, okay? Letting go of this feeling that you can't move on, you can't fly, and then actually moving on, okay? So let's clarify. We're gonna start by clarifying with um, what I call my dreamscape deck, because I really wanna pull from this blue moon, okay? What is it that you're not seeing about this situation? Okay, you feel like you have already, you know, moved from this and yet you haven't. Whatever this is, we've got the eight of swords with the nine of cups. Um, you're trying 
too hard to create something out of this like storm, this chaos, this um, instability. And you've got here, okay, followed by the um, Priestess of Dreams. You've let down your guard, so let go, okay? And I, I am getting that sort of let go and let God. Um, but it really, to me, is about the fact that you're struggling to let go of this because, okay, you're, you're saying that you're done and yet this person is never far from your mind. Okay. And if you think that the way that the storm that this brought out, if you think that that is fulfillment, okay, then that shows to the dysfunction and the darkness that lies within you, okay, from childhood, that you still need to let go of, okay? What you're not seeing here is that bottom of the deck is that you are going to be stuck until you complete this cycle, all right? So let's look more at this past. This battle, okay, was definitely about trying to release your heart, trying to let go of the deception of um, what you felt was love and what you felt was working in terms of love. Because what was happening was it was a slow burn, okay? Whatever this was, it was a very slow burn. Ten of Wands, okay? You had the opportunity here in the past to move forward. There was a lot of fear about what that would mean, okay? We've got the swordfish here, all right? So there's a lot of concern about the safety of movement forward, a lot of fears. Here currently, okay, the question becomes, do you... Um, let this out or bottle it up. Okay. At the heart of this is the foundation. Okay. You're trying to work through the old shadows to shed the past, to find your hope, to let the sun in, to let the light in. And in order to do that, you have to let it out, okay? This snake is not going to, you know, shed its skin, shed this past without you releasing this energy from you. I feel like as you're doing that, you're recognizing, okay, more and more of the fire within, the love within, the energy within, okay? The abundance of what you want to create and how to move all of that forward. Okay, so future energy, remembering, okay, guys, that this is, a, like I said, a lot of moving energy this week, okay? I feel like we're going to see a lot of shifting timelines as we go through this week. Things have been in a stagnant energy, stagnant emotions, okay? As you're moving forward, if you can leap from that five of swords to ten of swords, okay, it will be a true acceleration, but I feel like it won't be a pushed acceleration. But it is about, okay, allowing the emotions to come in, facing them. Because I feel like there's things that need to be brought to the surface, things that um, you've had a patience about bringing to the surface in order to get out of this pain of the Five of Swords, move through the pain ending of the Ten of Swords. Actions that need to be taken, 
to unstick all of this energy that you haven't really been willing to move through, okay? Okay, so here's the thing. You need to release, okay, this darkness of what's been kind of holding you back from real fulfillment. All right. There's a lot of deception within you about what love means. And I feel like that has to do with a lot of the deception of being truly in love, allowing your love out just means that you will be hurt. Okay. With the moon here, it is about releasing that old pattern and with the King of Cups coming into this new pattern, this new, true, authentic love, okay, it's going to be hard for a sort because you've hidden from this energy for most of your life, okay? For some of you, it could be for all of your life. And then when I pick up the deck, the card that's remaining is Ace of Cups. It is about, okay, getting that one true love, opening up to that awareness, allowing the true gift to come into you. In the past, you haven't felt safe, again, because of Ten of Pentacles. I feel like it's about the security and the foundation in the center of your heart with family. Okay, Nine of Wands. And they're all, you know, kind of swordish. At the bottom of this deck, we also have Nine of Wands. And so I do feel that, you know, that's what this whole thing is about. Because we've got Nine of Wands in reverse for your overall energy. Is that you've got to release this guarded energy. You've got to release this holding yourself back, hiding yourself, um, judging yourself, blaming yourself. Guilt, shame, resistance here. Okay? If you look back at all the times where you have wanted to create something bigger and what you've done is you've pulled yourself back into hermit and you've um, kept yourself in your own little world and out of, you know, the true release of your heart. <coughs> There's the asthma. Someone needs to hear that. You will see that you haven't truly protected yourself, you've actually hurt yourself by not opening up to all of this. Okay, the current energy here, okay, as you shed this past skin and rebirth yourself into this new being of being in your authentic true self, okay, again, um, the energy moves. There's a transference here with the Eight of Wands. You'll start seeing what it is that you want to do and connect to. Five of Swords, it's about realizing um, that, you know, sword in the stone sort of energy that you've placed all of this, like, energy holding yourself down into, into a place where every time you've gone after something, then you really haven't gone after it because you have to pull the sword out of the stone 
and there's this belief that you cannot, that you will not, okay? And so when it really means something to you and you've got a portion of yourself in the emotions of it, you pull back and hide, okay? You don't let the moon, you don't let the light or the darkness find you. You want that happiness, you want that joy, but there's a fear if I let go of anything that I already have, then um, I lose everything. All of that's an untruth, okay? Okay, as soon as you move to the Ten of Swords where you're releasing stuff, okay, and you're digging up the past so that you can do that with this Temperance card, that actually allows you to end the cycle, okay? It's opening you up to sweet success here with the World card, okay? Page of Swords pulling that sword out of the stone, realizing where your truth lies, realizing that you've been judging yourself or allowing others to judge you in a way that is not, okay, healing or helpful for you. And what you get out of that, okay, Queen of Cups. All right, Queen of Cups, finally moving into the emotions to have that cup to have the relationship that you have been wanting dreaming and um, believing in for so long for some reason I didn't go through the intention here but okay it's about the competition okay it's about the comparison of who you are compared to what you have been told what you believe and when you release okay all of the old and you move into this new the growth is unbelievable okay because bamboo just shoots up right and um it's lucky and it's beautiful and it's abundant and you will realize how much all of that is in truth of yourself okay so let's see what the universe has for you. Yeah, this is about, this is going to get over the heartbreaks of the past. You are, okay, King of Cups, Three of Swords in reverse. As you release this, you open yourself up into a true, authentic love. All right? And there we've got, okay, Scorpio season, death. You are going to go through that rebirth. That's what this is all about, right? The rebirth for you. Let's get this oracle card from the angels. Yeah, great gratitude, okay? This is a conscious choice to accept all the wonderful things about you, all the beautiful energies that surround you, that are you, that you have been in denial of, that you have been um, unwilling to build on because you've been buying into what others have seen, okay? Others are not seeing the full you, all right? Dreamer of pentacles here. Others are only seeing the pinhole, okay? Others are only seeing the pinhole of you. The cosmos, oh, and look what came out and I didn't even notice. Look what you get, the loving woman. Okay, when you open up to gratitude, you get the loving woman, queen of cups. Okay, so that is a beautiful, beautiful energy moving into this with you. I'm going to move into the extended and see what else uh, spirit wants to guide you with this week. But... Do the digging, allow the release, and um, allow this beautiful energy to come into you, okay? 
Much love, Aquarius. Link is in the description box, and I hope to see you over on Patreon, okay? Bye.